This is code.org. It's their CS Discoveries course or their Computer Science Discoveries course. Um, this is unit two of that, which is the web development stuff. Lesson seven, obviously, intellectual property and images. And then we're on level one. Let's see what we'll be doing in this lesson. Overview. This le lesson covers how to use media such as images, video, or music created by others, a website, while respecting the rights of the creator of that media. Hmm. Created by others on a website, most likely. So using images, video, or music created by others on a website while respecting the rights of the creator of that media. After first studying Creative Commons licensing, the class learns how to add images to web pages and how to give proper attribution when doing so. Some of the vocab we'll need to learn or we will be learning is citation, and that's a quotation from a reference or to a book, paper, or author, especially in a scholarly work. So a citation is when we would be citing the source of that material. So we might quote a book or have, um, have some type of picture and we might cite that source, which is to refer back to where it came from so people know. Copyright, the exclusive legal right to print, publish, perform, film, or record literary, artistic, or musical material, and to authorize others to do the same. Creative Commons, that's a collective, uh, that's a collection of public copyrighted licenses, public copyright licenses that enable the free distribution of an otherwise copyrighted work. It's used when an author wants to give people the right to share, use, build upon a work um, that they've created. And then intellectual property, a work or an inv invention that is the result of creativity, such as a piece of writing or a design, to which one has the right and for which one may apply for a copyright, uh, a patent, copyright, trademark, etc. Creative Commons licensing is often used in coding. Um, not always, but often. Maybe someone creates a program and they they did design it. It is their program, but they realize others might want to use it and build new stuff on that program, and they want to give people to do the freedom to do that. So they might use a Creative Commons license for their program and maybe post it on their website. So some other new code we'll be learning is the IMG tag, which is how you add images to an HTML website. So that looks like the broad overview. And now we can continue onward.